Merry Meet. So, for today, we are talking about how I am currently organizing this thing. So it is my book of shadows. It's not the prettiest version now, is it? Because honestly, most of the time, when people are like, look at my book of shadows, it's like this beautiful, elaborate book that looks like it came from like medieval times, and it's wonderful. I have a binder that had other papers in it that is stuck to the plastic and is slowly just coming apart at the seams a little bit. But you know what? It's fine. It works. It's colorful. So here we are. It also doesn't have color on the pages because that is effort that I'm not doing. So there we are. So. My Book of Shadows has gone through many different... I have a text message. <laughs> In case you're curious, that is my text tone. Because I've had it for like a year or two now. It's one of my faves. So, I bought dividers. They do not divide well because, as you can see, it doesn't go over the page. It's, it's before the end of the page. So, I have to fix that. But, we start off with the Wheel of the Year, because that tends to be the most important part of my practice. If I find something more relevant, I'll stick it in the very front, but for now, that's where that section is. And in here, I'm putting everything that I can think of for the wheel. So I want to have pages for each Sabbath, obviously, but also rituals and different activities to do for the seasons. So, that's what's in here. I currently only have Ostara which is a lot of pages for the Green Man one, because that took a lot to write down. I'm also just writing in my normal handwriting. I'm not trying to make it fancy or anything. Like, I'm working on the moons right now, and as you can see, my dog decided to lay on my paper, but <laughs> like, there's nothing fancy about it, just like the title, blobs of words and stuff. Um, I'm not even doing it in pencil anymore. I'm just like winging it with a pen, just going with it. So. I have my Will of the Year section, and ideally, you know, I'll have recipes and lore and different things in here as we go. But for now, I'm just going to have rituals and so on as we go along the year. So the next one is reference pages. Again, they're not decorative or by any means, I just wrote the words. But in here, I want to have all of the reference pages. So the 13 goals for which the um, we can read. I want to put like herbs and stones and different things like that in here, color, associations, all that good stuff, astrology, natal chart stuffs, all of that good things in this section. So like I have the breaking down astrology page in here, the daily candle ritual. I also went through the days of the week a little more in depth from Solitary Witch by Silver Ravenwolf. So each one of those has a page. Again, one day when I get bored, I will color in the candles, so it's like, remember Saturday, you want a black or a midnight blue candle. I don't have that right now, <laughs> but one day when I get bored. Um, so I've got that going on in that section. Then I have divination. I should also mention, I'm putting the pages in these page protector thingies because like, literally, I took this out to do the green man thing, which I think he turned out pretty cute, if I do say so myself. I didn't follow her exactly. I made it out of wood because I'm going to burn it, but, yeah, he's not horrible. And that was free-handed. I just kind of winged it. I didn't even look at one as an example. We just did it. It was pretty great. Um, but anyways, so when I was doing that, though, my dog jumped up on the book of shadows <laughs> with muddy paws, and I was really glad that I didn't have my pages <laughs> destroyed because paw prints that are wet and muddy, the page protectors are wonderful. So then the next section is a divination. I think I showed you that page, but what I was it's fine. So in here, obviously tarot, the runes, the oem. Uh, I might include like pendulum stuff, spreads and things I want to throw into here as well. So that's what that section is going to be. Then. I have a section that I don't know what I'm going to use it for currently, so right now it is my pages for this, wake up a year in a day, because I try and write down every page or every day that I do. Um, so like there will be questions and stuff and just kind of writing my experience, so like day one, 
you're doing this exercise for connecting to the earth. I kind of wrote down like what you're supposed to do and then the questions that they ask. And then I wrote my, down my answers. So that's in here. And I don't have those in page protectors. I just have it on graph paper as you do <laughs> because Current, like when I was looking, that was all I could find. So it was like, currently I can find this. We're gonna use this. It's already pre-hole punched, so we're gonna roll with it. And then the last section is spells. And in here, obviously, it's gonna be spells. So I have the one that I wrote up recently for where I'm currently trying to go with my life. And then like the simple money spell we talked about. And then I have several pages <laughs> for Again, Solitary Witch has a lot of long spells. Um, and I have semi-big handwriting, especially for this, because I do want to be able to read it kind of easily. So the Classical Planetary Invocations took several pages, but I'm also doing that. So I have that in here. So it's like, what a bum, lots of words. I don't have a lot of fancy little drawings and different things. It's really more practical of a Book of Shadows for myself. I am not super artsy. I mean, I try to be, but that takes a lot of time. And to be honest, it doesn't matter if I have like some pretty little raven drawing on a page, or am I looking for the words and the ingredients? I'm looking for the words and the ingredients. So it's not a pretty book of shadows, it's a practical book of shadows. So that's where I'm at currently with it. Um, I do wanna get some type of something so that I can easily flip to these parts, like uh, either some type of like those little clippy things that you see in like middle schools and high schools a lot, or like a paper clip, or just something that makes the pages stand out so I can like get to the sections a little bit easier. And eventually I might add more, my dog is whining. <laughs> I shut the door and she's mad. Um, but eventually I do want to add more sections. You know, I might do like mythology or something like that, or I don't know. We'll see. But for currently, these are all of the sections I really need. I mean, you could also do your reference pages with the Wheel of the Year in there, or a section for like the moons, etc. and so on. But for myself, this is just kind of how I like it set up. It's working quite well for me. Again, it's not pretty, but once you remove that like Instagram aesthetic of like, look at the pretty, and look at the practical of it, it's quite handy. It is big and awkward, I'm not gonna lie, but it works. So anyways, I would love to hear how you are organizing your Book of Shadows. What sections do you have and why do those work for you? If you're comfortable sharing your Book of Shadows, I would love to see them. So do a video response and link it down below. Again, if you have any topics that you would like me to talk about here, um, let me know, cause I don't. <laughs> Like, I don't know what to talk about other than to be like, hey, I'm learning that like if we use this phase of the moon and this astrology sign and this day of the week and this season, this is what we're doing for the next three days. We could talk about that. But that's the only thing I can think of. <laughs> so anyways, let me know down below. And until my next video, thank you for watching and bless be.